Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome to MVP Baseball 07, the last NCAA baseball game that has existed. Now, I didn't even notice before, but Jared Weaver is actually on the cover, and so is Long Beach State. If you follow my channel, you know I do the Long Beach State NCAA Basketball 10 series. And we could visit a uh, Long Beach State series in NCAA Baseball 07. Now that you know I have a gaming PC, I can play these games in 1080p now, which is amazing. Let's just hop into this game. Now, I did do a video on MVP 07 a while ago with the Wisconsin State Whitetails, a created team, and I put them in the game just to see what they were like, but now I can play this game in 1080p. It looks a whole lot better. And I do want to do a dynasty in this game. It's just a matter of when, not if, at this point. I think right now, at this present time, we're running victim to MLB The Show coming out. And I definitely want to get a series in that game before probably this game. I think the timing just isn't right. And then I have two ongoing series. One is LBSU Basketball and then Charlotte Football. So I do want, eventually want to get to MVP Baseball 07. This is such a fun game. The dynasty is pretty good. And honestly, just the college element of baseball is just amazing. It's entertaining. And to put that into a series, it would be it would be a great run for us. It would be the first of this kind on our channel as well. And I've never done a college baseball series. I've always done MLB The Show series. They've always done well. So I'd be excited to do a MVP 07 series. They do have different game modes here in this game, like scenario mode, where you get to put together a scenario. So here was the bottom of the ninth, bases loaded with no outs, and we just got a hit right there up the middle, Charlotte versus North Carolina, and we get the game winner. I love this game just because of, you know, Playing this game at 1080p is a whole lot of fun. I think that the CPU has, if you find the right slider set, like the games are very variable. Like there's no same outcomes in this game. And honestly, I, there is a little bit of a learning curve. You have to go back and play this game quite a bit to uh, get some skill. Here's the home run showdown, which is very, very fun. Obviously, you can see me on the right. I'm struggling here. And this is my first time playing this mode in a very, very long time and struggling to really hit homers in this one. But, you know, that's the one thing I like about it. You know, there's different ways to practice, especially with the scenario mode. Uh, you can practice different scenarios, different uh you know situation situational baseball i mean that's the strategy in baseball that is the fun in baseball the situational strategies of each team you also have the create a team and create a player and also they're just bringing back this in mlb show create a ballpark i guess not bringing it back but putting it into the game they've never had it but mvp they always had it create a ballpark is very very fun and they have it so i don't know how it will be the show is going to do it but this game is very very customizable with their stadiums you can make you know wall height wall depth all types of shapes backgrounds are limited but it's actually pretty fun you're watching ea's ncaa baseball this is mike patrick along with my co-host kyle peterson thanks mike it's great to be with you the sophomore is starting today he certainly is, Mike. His pitches consist of a four-seamer, a change-up, a hook, a slide piece, and a two-seamer. So let's hop into a little bit of action here. Arizona versus Long Beach State. Let's just play with them and see how they do. This is a pretty even matchup here in this game, and this is my first time playing this game in a very, very, very long time, so bear with my rust here as let's see what we can do on the mound. Is one out in the inning. Here's a pop fly to right field, and that one looks like it's going to be an out. That is Martin McGuire, not Mark McGuire. Martin McGuire with the catch in right field. And Reynolds has two outs here in the first. Let's see if he can go down three, and that is three up, three down here in the first inning. And one thing I like about this game is that you can have it so that, you know, for example, MLB The Show, they have quick counts. That, that can allow you to get through games quickly. You can have all strikes as a setting. Pretty much you have to throw all strikes. The CPU throws all strikes. And I kind of like that. It speeds up the game a little bit and allows you to get through it a little quickly because sometimes you can't skip cut ski cut scenes in this game like uh batter walk-ups you can skip that obviously but in between pitches you kind of have to wait for either the pitcher to throw the or the catcher to throw the ball back to the pitcher or uh the batter if he has a you know a miss swing or something you have to wait for him to gather himself in the box 
So here is our first hit to the right to right field, and that brings up our three-hole hitter, Josh Bradford. He has 99 power versus right-handers. He hits one hard to second base, but it looks like it's going to be a double play, and it's broken up at second. And we do avoid the turn two double play that time, but look at the PS2 animations there. The runner didn't even get to the shortstop before that uh, breakup slide. And now with two outs, ground ball to third, and that one should be the third out of the game. I mean, of the and inning, inning, and that is going to be 0-0 after one. So now move on to, to the second inning. Here's a hit to right field, and that one is going to get to the wall. And the center fielder will play it off the wall, throwing it to the cutoff man and the guy around second, and he is going to be safe with a stand-up double. As that brings up Christian Blunt to the plate, he hits one to center field, and it just gets down. Man, Cuso comes up throwing home, and it will take a high hop off of the mound and corralled by Wilkins, the catcher, as that brings up Garrick Thompson to the plate. And no outs in the inning, actually. And he hits one deep to left field. And that one is not coming back. It's a homer to left field. And Arizona makes it a three to nothing game. And you can just see that one was like right over the middle. I actually made a mistake there and did not move the cursor. And honestly made me, made me pay on that one. It's three nothing here for Arizona. So this inning does continue here with two outs. There is a hit up the middle, and that one will be another hit notch for Arizona here in the second inning. Let's see if we can get out of this one, though. Two outs, 0-1 count. It's a liner to third base, and Solomon jumps up and gets that one for the third out of the inning. So we move on to the fourth inning. Here's Bradford back at the plate. He hits one hard to left side, and he does get on first with a single to left field. Let's see if this is our inning to get something going. As that brings up Martin McGuire, the right fielder, here with no outs. He hits one hard up the middle, and he keeps this inning going. Now guys on first and second, and nobody out in this inning as well. That brings up Hunter Cruz, who has good contact versus right. The power is in the 50s, though, but with no outs, he's going to hit one to second base. It's going to be another ground ball, but it's not going to be a double play. So there we go. Guys on the corners here with Christian Wilkins up to the plate. And he will get one on the right side. And he swings and misses, but we tried the hit and run. And that is going to be an out at second base as we tried to get Cruz to swipe second. And now two outs in the inning. Hard ground ball. And it's just going to be an out. And that will end that fourth inning with no runs across the plate there. As we tried to hit and run, that one definitely didn't work. Now, I definitely want to get a series going in this game. Like I said, it's a matter of when, not if because I love college sports. College football is amazing. College baseball is so underrated. And I don't know if, how closely you guys follow college baseball, but, I mean, it's so easy now with YouTube and stuff. You can just follow it there. And if you want to get going as a fan, I mean, that is probably the easiest way. Just look on YouTube. There's a couple of guys that, you know, have some highlights on their channel and very, very entertaining. I mean, the games take a lot. I mean, even the highlights take about 10 minutes to watch. I mean, if you want to keep up with the team, it's so accessible now. Everything is so accessible. And because college baseball isn't really televised, like on the big networks like ESPN and ABC, Fox, and all those big networks, but you can follow it easily on YouTube now with everything we have technology-wise. So here we get going. In this inning, guys on second and third, the bloop single to right field, and that brings up Martin McGuire. Can he be the hero here with guys in scoring position in the bottom of the eighth? And remember, here he is. Bama one to right field, and that one is going to be another flyout in this game. And we have failed to get a runner across in this one, and Arizona is looking to shut us down here in the ninth inning is that one does bring up Martin McGuire. I believe that was actually Bradford at the plate. I don't know why they showed Martin McGuire for a second. And here's a ground ball to short, and that one will be the first out of the inning. Is that brings up Cruz here with one out. He goes to left field, and it snags by the shortstop. Not enough air under that one. And now here's the catcher, Wilkins, with two outs. He hits one up the middle, and that one will drop. So this game will not end with that batter, as now we have a man on first base. Now we need anything here. Kevin Robles to the plate. He's got speed 87, though, in the DH spot. That's actually very, very speedy for a DH. And now with two outs, he hits one hard to short. And it's going to be an easy ground ball fielder's choice. And that one will conclude this game. I wanted to play this game here. We have this in, in 1080p now on the gaming PC. It looks beautiful. And this game looks excellent. 
And we had eight hits in this one, but didn't get any runs across. The Arizona Wildcats had that one three-run homer in the second inning, and that actually won it for them. Now, I imagine when we start the series, we're going to be a lot better than that. Obviously, this was my first game playing this in a long time, like I said earlier. And honestly, I love college baseball. I love what the excitement brings and all that. And I'm excited to get a series going in this. I'm probably going to have a, a post in my community tab. And, and I want to get your guys, maybe in this video. You know what? In this video, submit your guys below. I'll have a template in the description. Submit some of your recruits below. I, I do want to start a, a series eventually. I don't know when that's going to be. And I do want to get some, you know, some ideas going for this. And obviously, I don't do my series like, you know, everybody else just running through them. I like to have storylines, all that type of stuff. So let me know what you guys think of this game, MVP 07. And if you want to see a series in this it's a potential series that could run sometime maybe even in the summer and i only usually run two series on my channel so that's the kind of the way i want to do it and i love this game this is an amazing game let me know what you guys think hit subscribe hit that like button we'll be back for more retro game plays here on the channel i love to do these probably like once a week so look out for those so stay tuned let's get it let's go I like getting money, I got time to get it Target on me, so my car's a tenny Dancing with the devil, I don't bargain with it Bobbing in a dash and the stick is with it And I hit the 4-5 on the west side But I'm from the east side This how we slide This how we ride, yeah, yeah This how we ride